What's up, everybody? It's your boy. Oh, wait, the phone, the phone, there we go. Yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Richard, back with another video. And as you guys can see, we're going to be reacting to the new SML movie that came out two hours ago called Impractical Jokesters. I thought this was called uh, Impractical Joke Stars, but no, it's Impractical Joke Stars. So let's just jump right into this in three, two, one, clickly clack. We are. Yep, you guys said it. That's small. So, fact. guys, what do you want to do today? You guys want to watch Impractical Jokers? What's Impractical Jokers? You've never seen Impractical Jokers? No, what is it? It's a show. Bro, how can this guy not know what the hell Impractical Jokesters are? Where you see scenes of graphic stupidity among three lifelong friends who compete to embarrass each other. That sounds silly. Impractically silly. We should watch it! Yeah, let's watch it! Okay. <laughs> Tito. And we're gonna be pranking some unsuspecting customers. If you refuse to do the Yo, it's been a while since I've seen Tito. What the hell? Man. Goddamn, bro. T uh, Tito. How much? I literally say, t bro. I almost said Tio. Like, Tio from Piggy. I mean, because Tito and Tio sound the same. No. Tito, it's been a while since I've seen Tito. Damn. The challenge. I forgot he even existed in the SML crew. Hello, welcome to Red Lobster. What can I get to you? Uh, the bell. Hey Tito, before he orders, you should blow a bicycle horn in his face. <laughs> in his face. <laughs> How about a? Uh, I want to order it. A... <laughs> Stampy coming up. Hold up. All right, guys, I'm back. My mouth was full of goldfish crackers. I was craving goldfish crackers. Bro, I don't see nothing funny with you blowing a bicycle horn in somebody's face while they're trying to order something. That's more like being annoying than being funny. Hey, don't bring him what he ordered. <laughs> bring him some Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Here's your Kentucky Fried Chicken, sir. How incredibly racist. Let me speak to your manager. Where is he? What <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Forget it. I, I might as well try it. Yeah. Who don't like chicken? All right, Tito, now call him to you. Do it. The, whoa. Whoa. I don't know about that. Nah, bro, what? Yeah, who don't like chicken? Whoa! <laughs> Alright, Tito, now calm the N-word. That, that's crazy. Nah, bro, if you... Bro, if you call him the N-word, bro, every black guy in that store, in that restaurant, store, restaurant, whatever, any black person that's in that restaurant will beat the, uh, Tito up. What? I never backed down from the challenge. Don't say. That's not funny, bro. What the hell? That's racist, dog. Man, I never lose. You killed it. All right, man. Bro, that wasn't even funny, bro. I didn't even laugh at that. I don't know how these guys are laughing at that, bro. Hey, you can choose a red lobster. What can I get you guys to eat? <laughs> Give him a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, punch him in the face. Maybe a knuckle sandwich. D Damn. Bro, what the hell? Okay, that? Okay, bro, what the hell? He did it! He punched him! Punched him in the face, bro. What the hell? Again? Ow, you just punched me in the face. Sorry about that. What are your specials? I just gave him one, a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Bro just punched freaking oh my god. <laughs> 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 
Brown just oh, punched yeah, Lance in the face. Uh, any other specials? <laughs> Those guys look pretty gay. Yeah, yeah, tell them gay pride was in June. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Bro. We don't have any specials for you because gay pride month was in June. <laughs> Not gonna lie, bro. If I was one of those people and this guy, and if uh, honestly, if I was one of those guys that got punched in the face, I ain't gonna lie. You don't want to know what you guys don't want to know what I would do to the guy that punched okay, me in the you face. Guys not make me do stupid. Hey there, you go. hey there, welcome to Red Lobster. What can I get you two to eat? What would you recommend? Murmur, tell them that you would recommend the fish, but they already smell like fish. Like <laughs> Vagina! Hey, uh, what? Well, uh, I, um, <laughs> I'd recommend the fish, but it, uh, it already smells like that over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mer, pull out a magnifying glass and look at their boobs and ask them what size they are. Hey, yeah. uh, what? Bro, what the hell? Sorry, I'm craving goldfish crackers again. Hold on. Man, I really should stop eating food while I'm recording. Nah, bro, that, what the hell? I mean, I agree with it, but I mean, but the, the <laughs> girls are gonna find you weird. <laughs> what size are those? Are those B cups? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that one, that one was a little funny. I don't know, it made me a little, it made me laugh a little bit. Like, a, like, this a little bit. What? Yeah, what the hell? Not... Bro, like, bro, I mean... Bro, if I was poopy, I would have grabbed them tits. Not gonna lie, but honestly, bro... You can't be doing that, bro. You can't just be grabbing random oh, girls' buddy. tits. <laughs> if they ask you, yeah, know. if so they ask like you the that you can touch loser. them, then go ahead and touch them. Let's go to your you can touch them okay. all day you want. That's one thumbs down for Murr. That means Murr is today's biggest loser. <laughs> and yeah, the reason why Murr is a loser because he wouldn't touch them tits. <laughs> And look at these two just laughing. Big punishment. And we are in someone's front yard. And we see a pile of dog sh Now, Murr, what do you think? Bro, don't make... Don't tell me what I think they're gonna make, you know, Murr do. Are they gonna make him eat the dog shit, bro? I think we want you to... Bro, if they would make... Bro, if I was, uh, Murr, a.k.a. Pooby, if I was him... No way in hell I would be eating dog shit, bro. Do it I'd rather dog lick a cactus shit. than eat dog <laughs> shit. <laughs> no! You wish! You no wish! I want you to lick it. Lick what? it? You're gonna lick that dog I mean, it's better than eating it, but still, what the hell? That's I'm gross as hell. <laughs> it's still you gross as hell. Get, get it's it's, like it's better you're than you're eating girl, it. Right? What about your wife and kids? I do need the money. <laughs> He's, he actually looked in. These two are like acting like five year old children. Five year old children, bro. What the hell? How is that even a punishment? I lick dogs all the time. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. What the hell? You lick dogs. Whatever, I'm not even gonna you know question that. Guys? Man. What if we pull pranks on people like they do? But I don't wanna get in trouble. They don't get in trouble. Well, they're adults with a full production crew. That might even be fake. But what if we. Yeah, I mean, they're adults. They're, mer Frank they're more so immature than you guys. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright, so how about we all pull a prank on Chef Pee Pee, and whoever refuses to do the prank is the biggest loser. Okay. And they all have right, so to lick go dog oh, shit. Go first. Okay, what type of prank should Jeffy do on Chef Pee Pee? Ooh, ooh, you should put this fake dog shit in whatever he's cooking. <gasps> That'd be so funny because Chef Pee Pee would be like, ew, there's poop in my food! Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Alright. Wait, he, he forgot the fake dog shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Nah. No. Don't just. I mean, Chef Baby's cooking is disgusting already, so you know what? You might as well go ahead and shit in it. 
I'm cooking some fried chicken. Oh, it smells so good. Wait, wait, I forgot the seasoning. Okay, don't sit on that, bro. Shit on your chicken, maybe. No, maybe no, I thought no, it was no. grass. Oh, Lord. Wait, wait. Come on, tell me something. Yeah, sure, anything, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I need to know something. Yeah. Why is there a fake shit right by your foot? Oh, that that's a fake shit. You're, you're talking about a real shit, right? Yeah, <laughs> real poopy, stinky ass. Bro. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Why are they saying shit so many times? Well, all I have is fake shit. Yeah, all we have is fake shit up here. We don't want to know real shit. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, I know you Bro. Guys, can you guys count how many times these guys have sh said the word shit in this video? They're lying, and if I find out one of you did it, I'm gonna shove my fist so far up your ass! Oh, I swear to God. Now, guys, maybe I should take the fall for this. But, Cody, you didn't do it. But I think he already suspects me. I mean, the poop is right next to my foot, so I think maybe I should just own up to it. Oh, yeah, of course you want to get the punishment, bro, because the punishment is that uh, Chef BB is gonna get his hand and shove it up, you know. Our ass. Oh no no, he doesn't know any of us did. I think a just word. Alone. Okay, but I think I'm I just gonna say a word time. because a lot but, of people but, don't no, like sure. me when I say swear words. So I'm just gonna you know just say the a word and the s word. Right. Yeah, no, I'm Chef I'm gonna do the next prank. Why? Because uh, I think. I and also, by the way, a lot of people, a lot of people have not been subscribed to the channel, so that is a big, 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 big no no. Be the one to do it. That's a big no no. If. This channel can't grow any more subscribers, bro. I don't know what to say. This channel might be dead, to be honest. Yes, I have an idea. What? I mean, to be honest, this channel's already dead. It's not even. It's not even getting any more subscribers. It's not gaining up any. It is gaining up a lot of subscribers, but it's not gaining up a lot of subscribers like I used to gain up. Oh my God! I can't believe I'm gonna over and make a whole new chicken. Hey there, Chef Peepy. You look stressed out. Why don't you sit down and take a load off? Oh, Cody, I'm not falling for that trick. That's the only trick in the book. I'm not a preschool. What trick? This is just a harmless cushion. That is a whoopee cushion. I'm not falling for your stupid pranks, Cody. Get out of my kitchen. Okay, but I did try to prank you, so you're gonna punish me, right? Is the fisting still an option? Get out of my kitchen! I'm trying to cook some damn chicken, Cody. Okay, fine. I didn't want you to fist my ass anyway. It's weird. It's weird you mention it. Well, guys, my prank didn't work. I got caught. How'd you get caught? Well, I tried to use a whoopee cushion. But it was bright green. It's pretty hard to hide. So what did Chef Pee do when he caught you? Well, he didn't put his fist up my ass. I'll tell you that. Well, I'm gonna try to prank Chef Pee next. What's the point? He's not gonna put his fist up your ass. I have the best prank idea. Bro, why does anyone want their? Why does anyone want somebody to put their, you know, their hand up their a word? I'm gonna put rat poison in Chef Pee's food. What the? F and what? The <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> okay, now that right there. Is a horse shit idea, bro. <laughs> bro, it's gonna ruin the freaking food, bro. You can't eat it. As soon as you put a little bit of this shit in the food, bro, you cannot eat the food, bro. Junior, that's gonna kill him. No, it's not. It's only made for rats. It would. It'll kill anything that you know eats poison. Kill anybody who eats it. The wise. And it called anybody poison. Well, because it's designed for killing rats. Exactly. Yeah, this thing is meant for killing rats, not humans. It'll only kill rats, not humans. Junior, it says bro, it's still poison, bro. It'll kill... It, bro, if the bottle says rat poison, do you think the poison will only kill rats? No, it'll kill anything that eats it. Right there in the bottle, danger do not consume. That's for the rats. It's for the f***ing rats. <laughs> Rats, they put it on the bottle for the rats to read it? Rats can't read, Junior. Yeah. So we'll it we can read. Junior, how well, because he's just a freaking... He's just a damn movie character. Times do I have to explain to you that cartoons aren't real life? Yeah. Hey, listen, they make specific poisons for specific animals. Like, this is made for rats. Rat poison. They also have mosquito... Bro, I don't know how the hell that, that, that fake 
you know, dog ass where it is still toy on the is still on the couch. Boys, they have bug spray for spiders and wasps. This is only made for rats. Wasps, and humans. Junior, poison is poison. It would kill anybody. Then why doesn't it just say poison? Why does it specifically say rat poison? It should just say poison then. Because this is for rats, but it's it's for rats. Thank you. So if I give it a shot, PP, he won't die. No, he's still he's gonna still die. gonna die, bro. It's poison. Poison will literally kill any living thing that eats it. I ain't. So you're calling Chef Pee Pee a rat? What? No, I didn't say that. I'm just explaining how the poison works. So you're saying if Chef Pee Pee eats it, he's gonna die, so this kills rats, so you're gonna it kill- It would kill anybody. Oh, so you're calling all humans rats. What? No, no. What are you, Hitler? What? Hitler didn't think people were rats. So now you're defending Hitler. Yeah, bro, Hitler did way, way more worse things than just calling people freaking rats. I'm not defending Hitler, I'm just explaining how poison works. Hitler did not think everybody was just rats. He did way worse things than thinking everybody was rats. Nobody on it, it'll be perfectly fine. What? Well, where's that damn seasoning? It was right here. Oh my god. Why does that look? Why does that look like cocaine? Oh man, just need a little bit, add a little salt to it. You know what I'm saying? And I just take a little bite. Well, <laughs> yeah, should be dead. Pranked. Pranked. Yeah, look. You think it's a prank, but does this honestly look like a prank to you, bro? You just killed an innocent man. Dumbass. Never, bro, this dumbass never agrees with Cody. Anything Cody says, he never agrees with it. Pray. Idiot. Just killed him, bro. What happened, Junior? He died? Oh, I get what you did. You called Chef Pee Pee when I was walking downstairs and told him to act like he was dying when he ate the rat poison to teach me a lesson. Oh, I called him, huh? Oh, here's my phone. You can check my call history. I didn't call him. You probably deleted the calls. No, just didn't call him. Well, he's oh, actually dead. Rat poison would kill a human. Me, me, I did when I told you that would happen. Okay, well, th this company has to be in trouble because no way do they say for humans not to eat it. It says right there, danger, do not consume. That's for the rat. Th that's for the rats. Bro, rats can't freaking read, bro. That's, that's that's for the rats. They put it there for the rats to read. Why would they warn the rats you were trying to kill them? To give them a fair chance or fair fight? No, Junior. They put it there so people who can read would know not to eat it because they die. Oh, so if you don't know how to read, this won't kill you. It only kills people who know how to read. No, they put it... Bro, oh my God, bro. Like, bro, what Cody is saying... What is Cody is trying to say? Anything that eats the poison will die. Even if it's not even a rat, it'll... Even if... The thing that ate poison is not a rat, it'll still kill them. Like Shep Epi, he's not a rat, and he died from it. There, so people who can read know that they would die if they eat it or feed it to someone else. So if I don't know how to read, how do I know this would kill me? It, because there's a little symbol right there. Do not rat consume. Dying. Yeah, but I would only assume rats would die, not me. Junior, I think they're such so an idiot, bro. Enough to try to eat it. Well, I think they need to repackage this because it looks extremely close to Mirror Locks. That it does. I will give you that. Okay, so what do we do now? Like, what happens now? What's our plan? I don't know. I might call the police. Why? Why? Because you murdered Jim. Yeah, murder. Pee -pee. No, he could have died of old age. Old age? Or maybe it's the rat poison in his system. Yeah, and then, and then you know what happened? The cops are going to assume that he didn't know that would only kill rats. Like, no, they're not going to assume that. They're no. going to assume that everybody knows that rat poison kills people. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to tell them that I'm an impractical joker. Oh, okay, maybe that'll hold up in court, an impractical joke. It was very impractical, Junior, I'll give you that. It was a very impractical joke, if you can even call it a joke. I call it murder. Well, yeah, I'm murder. Sorry. I don't know what to do. Jeffy, just push the U2's ad. Oh. Hey, guys, check it out. There's a Jeffy U2's, and you can get one down in the link in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out and get one. I mean, bro, I'm not going to lie, that figure is really cool, but to be honest, I can't get it because... I already spent all my mo I spent money on the uh, Garden Bam and YouTube's plushies and the Jumbo Josh pin. Because you're pretty cool. It's me going, yay, right on the red couch. All right, kid, you're coming with me for the murder of Chef Pee Pee. Wait, you called the cops, Cody? Yeah, sorry. Oh, you bitch. Damn. <laughs> Caught him the B word. Anyways, yeah, that was it, guys. Impractical jokesters. I almost said jokesters. Impractical jokesters. And yeah, guys, that, that was it. If you guys haven't done it, go ahead and please like and subscribe and all that blah, blah, yada, yada. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.